everybody. Welcome to another episode of Superhero Roundup live here on SourceFed Nerd. How are you feeling about that, DJ? Yeah. Oh, you like being wild right at the top? I wish we thought he couldn't peak in volume. That was incredible. Uh, this is the show where we talk about our favorite superhero TV shows on TV right now. We talk about Agent Carter. We're talking about The Flash, Arrow, DC's Legends of Tomorrow, as well as all the best uh, superhero movie and TV news from throughout the week. I am Matt Lieberman. Joining me, as always, Sam Basher is here. Hello. Maud Garrett is here. Hello. And DJ Wooldridge is here. Hello. Yes. I'm a bit Whitney Frost today, though. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you noticed that. Yeah. Oh, oh. Are you going to be speaking in that accent the Maybe whole episode? Maybe when talking about Agent Carter, I will. Ooh. <laughs> That's also like Dottie has like this extreme, overly American accent. That's because she's Russian. Yeah, I know. It's because she's Russian. She's she had to learn widow. the accent. No. Uh, this show, we're live every single Friday at 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So join us live so you can uh, chat with us live and also tweet at us live using the hashtag SHRoundup. Sam's going to be reading those tweets. That's yeah. me. And mm-hmm. this week's question of the day is... Who's the man in the Iron Mask in this week's Flash episode? <laughs> Let us know on Twitter. Yeah. Use the hashtag SHRoundup. And when we get to each show, tweet at me. Yes. Boom. Uh, also, this show is available on iTunes. And it's on, on SoundCloud as well. So if you don't want to watch, which you should, it's Source Fed Nerd. It's a great channel on YouTube. Go subscribe. Uh, go to iTunes, rate and review the show. It really helps us out. It makes everyone here so happy. And that's how we know that we're doing a great job for you. Okay, so let's talk a little news, shall we, Maud? Oh, I'd love to. Let's kick it off right now as I scroll down. Daredevil Season 2. Have you guys seen the trailer? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let us know in the comments what you think or tweet it over using that hashtag SHRoundup. Uh, we actually covered this in a story during the week, Sam and I. But basically, you kind of see a lot of Punisher's backstory, some of the kick-ass action. We get a glimpse of Elektra. Uh, we want to know what you guys think of it. What did you think? First thing... The costume doesn't look nearly as bad as it did last season. Like, even mm, just the color change. I don't change, know if I agree with you. Like, it's, it's a little rough. It's still <laughs> bad. Well, it's interesting seeing it in action, but also it looks like the costume will still be going through transitions as the season goes on. Oh. Because there's scenes um, where you see the mask is stitched up and broken, and then right. he has a, a fully red mask later in the trailer. Okay. No. I'm loving the introduction of Punisher. I, I think that we've spent the entire first season establishing Hell's Kitchen and who Daredevil is. The fact that we've got this new guy with some killer lines that have got me hooked, like every time the um, Daredevil deals with them, they get back up. When I hit them, they stay down. I'm or like, like one batch. Uh, that other one line. batch. Yeah, I was just thinking I thought that. he was cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was cooking in Hell's Kitchen. And he it's, got yeah. the first batch, didn't go didn't so well. Didn't go so well. Yeah. I like so that. makes more cookies. No. <laughs> I like that Punisher ties in with this Netflix Marvel Universe thing they got going on. That yeah. he's in Hell's Kitchen. No. He's causing trouble in Hell's Kitchen. I don't know where Punisher originally comes from in the comics. No. But I like how they're being tied Insert together. Jessica Jones at one stage. It's yeah. interesting. I will really hope for Jessica Jones mm-hmm. in the season. Uh, it's interesting all also, just think about like watching that trailer again. Punisher exists in the MCU. That like that's the MCU we've been seeing. Yeah, the fun kind of like more lighthearted. Like he exists. Mm-hmm. That's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, that's really fun that they like found Thor a way to and Hulk farting on each other. Like that's happening over <laughs> there. And then like the Punisher is murdering. Yeah. Mob Are you guys a little members. bit worried watching that trailer that this will be less Daredevil season two and more Punisher? I'm year not worried one. about that at all. I'm all on board with it. Hijack the shit out of it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's just because you want less punching and crunching. I- Yes. Yes. I mean, if he she, shoots someone and they die automatically, you don't have to hear these sick you know, crunches. You know that when he shoots people, it's going to be like... <laughs> I want a whole half of a face to blow off. Like, bullet goes in. <laughs> that would be really cool. I'm, I was kind of lukewarm on the trailer, honestly. And I'm... I'm why are they doing a two-part trailer? It's like, I'm assuming tune in for Electra. trailer part two. I'm assuming part two is a le- focus on Yeah, Electra, it's an Electra focus. Way, which was Electra the, at the end, just the one line, I'm like, that's Electra. Yeah. Oh, man. That was, to me, like the only really good part of that trailer was like, she's immediately, dare I say, electric. Yeah. Yeah. Do you oh, think that Jennifer Garner just nerd? watched that line? <laughs> I loved it. It was a good pun. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Garner's just sitting there going, Oh. Uh, let's, oh, be honest. oh. Okay. let's be honest. That she was sense. just another character from Alias when she was playing Electra <laughs> yeah. in her own movie. <laughs> also, don't hate on her. She got her whole own movie, movie. which was yeah. god awful. <laughs> I watched I watched all of that. Well done. It's bad. <laughs> you know what, what I think might I didn't know where to go. At least with me, why, <laughs> why it's gonna take me a minute to get me on board with John Bernthal as Punisher. Not because he's not great, because John Bernthal is great. I love the mm-hmm. casting. You know what's weird? I think he has too much soul. He seems too soulful. I guess, like, I'm used to Punisher being, being like, a himself. murder robot. But, yeah. well, and just but, looking at John Bernthal, it's like, oh. This is... the original one? 
Uh, uh, Thomas just Jane. Dolph Lundgren. Dolph well, Lundgren. Dolph Lundgren. Not, not Dolph Lundgren. Lundgren. And yeah. then Thomas Jane. Thomas Jane. And then, and then Ray um, Stevenson, right? That, yeah, Ray yeah. Stevenson. What What I like about it is it feels like Punisher right after he lost his family. Yeah, like which he's, makes sense. To me, you're still going to have those emotions after you've killed over and over and over and over yeah, and over again. That soul robot. starts to rot away. And yeah. I imagine by the time we get to Punisher season one, that's the Punisher we'll be dealing with. Yeah, but I am interested to see. I'm also a little concerned... Um, that they, I, there needs to be more than a Punisher, a Punisher and Electra going on this season, I think, because last season kind of ran out of steam oh, around yeah. episode Bullseye seven. Bullseye will come in. Hopefully. That would be I hope fun. so. I think it would tie really well with the arc. I think th- this trailer seems to be setting up for the series. I think Bullseye and his relationship with Electra mm-hmm. specifically. And it's setting up some uh, romance, perhaps, uh, with uh, uh, Karen Page a little bit. There oh, yeah, go. hopefully. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I got found a tweet it. I found from it. Yeah. Michael WW at KY Leveler. Daredevil season two trailer is great. Punisher is not a hero, but a murderer. So we're going to have to see some kind of transition because they are working on a Punisher series. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, well, no, I don't know if it's official. That's just the rumor. Okay. It's a popular rumor. Was that never sense. announced? No, I feel like I don't they, remember Marvel. No, it was always a rumor. It. They'll they'll it also, do it the week after the season debuts. Yeah, or after I would maybe after Defenders, maybe maybe. But it'll be interesting because I think Punisher always works best as an, a protagonist when you try to conceive him. Because I remember when I was a kid, I was like Punisher isn't a hero. Like I used to get these trading cards and it would be the Marvel heroes. My like, Punisher's not a hero. He's a pulp crime. Character. Sorry, yeah. we just got a glimpse at twelve-year-old DJ. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. twelve-year-old <laughs> DJ is my more eight, favorite DJ. Eight, more oh, eight-year-old okay. DJ. Um, <laughs> I want Spider-Man. But, I want Superman movies to be cool. They, they, uh, they do. I actually hated Superman when I was a kid. <gasps> uh, but um, what a reversal. Uh, it'll be interesting to see because right now, like in the comics, Punisher almost never murders somebody that doesn't deserve it because then the character would no longer function as a protagonist. Yeah. Right. So it'll be interesting how they draw the lines between Daredevil because if Punisher's just murdering really bad people, why is Daredevil's knickers in a knot about it so much? Like mm-hmm. it'll be interesting to see how they play the conflict. Because they didn't now, get back up. Yeah. <laughs> now let me ask you guys a question. Uh-huh. Are we all on board for our customary all day live stream watch a thon of Daredevil season two? I sure as shit am. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll bring okay. the Red Bull, huh? All right. Awesome. Oh, a whole case, please. Uh, Maude, are you going to join us this time around? Uh, who knows? Okay. Well, we're, we're figuring that out. But the, <laughs> Have fun the, with that. Uh, <laughs> the season debuts on March 14th, yeah. so uh, stay tuned. It's probably, if we do it, it's going to be on March 15th, that Saturday. Yep. Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, it's cool. always a blast. So if you haven't joined us for one of these before, you know, tune in, watch with us, watch live. It's it's going to be a blast. It's awesome. a hoot. Yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy announcement. Yes, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy volume has not only announced new cast members, but it's officially started filming. Who are these cast members? We've got Pom Clementieff, who's going to be playing the Mantis. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're a fan of that one. Cool. You've already got your cosplay. Uh-huh. And Kurt Russell, get this, isn't cast as Star Lord's da- Star Lord's Lies. dad, but a mystery around it. Wait, wait, so they've officially said that he's not he Star Lord's dad? They, they have said that it's not the dad from the comics, and they said that Kurt Russell has ties to Star Lord's that okay it's, now, they're pulling a con yeah they're like pulling, yeah, yeah. yeah. because if yeah. we have an image one our asset is kurt russell next to a picture of star lord's dad from the comics it looks the same. It looks exactly yeah. like yeah yeah and he has the best supervillain name ever mr knife <laughs> mr knife the mr Spain. knife mr knife it's jason of spartax oh, okay oh, i know that course. yeah but uh, i didn't know uh, he was called everybody mr. knows knife. jason of spartax yeah i'm not a <laughs> <laughs> is it really mr knife Fuck mr off. knife, mr. knife. Mr. knife. <laughs> the space <laughs> pirate <laughs> <laughs> the leader of spartax mr knife no wonder uh, star lord felt the need to give him give himself the name star lord yeah i'm not knife junior i'm not kid knife yeah i am not I'm not plastic. Knife lad. (laughs) Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, Young Justice 3 on Netflix. (laughs) You guys heard about this. One of the voice actors decided to hit up Twitter, and of course he's like, ooh, we may be getting back together. All right. Uh, All right, let's clear, clear it. Up. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, don't worry. There's no, like no proof no. that this is happening no. at all. It's and the voice actor who does Cyborg, and he did Aqualad on the show. And oh, he just got fired. Way, and he really just cool. got fired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What he said was, if you guys watch it, Netflix 
might review the numbers of season two that was just put up on Netflix. That means garbage. Netflix yeah. can't just go and grab one. They have to go to DC, who, and Netflix already has a deal with yeah. Marvel, which could be complicated, could yeah. not be, whatever. But they still have to go to them, get the rights to the show, and, and get, make it. And get uh, Greg Wiseman on board. Greg Wiseman, who's very busy making mm. Star Wars Rebels. Actually, I don't know if he's still on Rebels. Mm-hmm. I think oh. he was only on for the first season. Yeah, really? but he is doing yeah. all of like the DC animated uh, movies that are coming out. He is. He, doesn't he have a hand in them? No. But what the no, fuck is he doing? <laughs> what is the matter? <laughs> <laughs> Greg <laughs> Wiseman, yeah. get out of bed and make Young he's, Justice he's, Season 3. Whether whether Netflix wants you to do it or not. <laughs> he is writing Starbrand and Night Mask for Marvel right That's now. That's pretty awesome. All right. Uh, which is a comic. Um, we time. also need to fan cast the new voice of Cyborg since he won't be coming back, obviously. Sorry, man. Yeah, we there's all like want season three. Strict confidentiality. There's <laughs> NDAs. Mm. He's he got straight drunk. to Twitter. <laughs> Last piece of news. DC's Rebirth event is not a reboot. Now, basically, Jeff Jones has announced the comic lineup for all of DC Comics, and it goes, Rebirth! Batman, rebirth, Superman, rebirth, 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 rebirth. rebirth. Everyone's, everyone's Phoenix all of a sudden, and there's a lot of rebirth. DJ, can you Tell explain what's, what's happening? It's uh, uh, they're relaunching. They're doing what Marvel does every year, and just launching a, every everything's going back to a number one issue. Um, so it's a soft relaunch Let's of everything. Let's start at the very beginning. Except for Action Comics and Detective Comics, which are reverting back to their original numbering, which puts, puts them very close to a thousand com a thousand That's number a thousand reason. like they're nine fifty. Like That's number really cool. so. Wait, okay, so they when the new fifty two happened, everything got new number ones relaunched. To everything, number one. even if the stories continued, yes, like but Green Lantern, Batman. On top of that. Mm-hmm. They rebooted the continuity. That's not happening this time. That is not happening. Everything's being maintained. so. It's just it's just new numbers and yes. new arcs, but all the continuity yeah, is probably, the same. Probably new creative teams and everything. I know uh, Jeff continue? Johns and <laughs> Scott Snyder because people new buy number ones. It, it's right. a, it's a jumping off. Two is not a winner, and three nobody remembers. Right. Exactly. It's, it's like if a show has so, been on the air for three out. years, yeah. it, you don't Everybody's necessarily want to jump <laughs> in jump yeah, unless so you do, already have Netflix and you have access. Number ones. Uh, I just um, it's, well, it'll, it'll be more interesting to see what the creative teams are because that's what gets me more excited about stuff. It is a little bit disappointing that unlike New 52 that had a lot of experimental titles like yeah. Animal Man, Swamp Thing, Resurrection Man, uh, Grifter, none of that's happening with this. It's all safe. In fact, half the books are Batman books and Superman books. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. we needed more of those. Yeah, so they're really... Uh, but I mean, we'll see. But Jeff John said that one thing they're trying to bring back is that sense of legacy, which might play into those rumors that the Justice Society of World War II is coming back. Oh. Cool. Uh, there's a rumor going around that Wonder Woman in the movies will be a part of the... just like In the movie universe, there will be a Justice Society in World War II and one will mm-hmm. be part of that and okay. the That'd comics be, are trying to line up. smart. That makes, yeah, that makes sense. sense. I don't know. I, you know, it's funny. For, when they got rid of the World War II, I was like, mm, I was all butthurt about it. But they, Just Society was originally from Earth 2. I don't know. We'll and see. Also, as long Earth as they're good stories, who really cares? Good. Yeah. Earth 2 is really good. Well, and there I is will. a comic. Mm-hmm. Earth 2 is still continuing. It's getting a new number one. That's good. good. So it's not going anywhere. We'll see how it all pans out. They are kind of... <gasps> I'm so oh, hungry. shit. They actually... <gasps> the story... Okay, I won't say... I mean, I don't want to spoil it for people who want to read it, but they, they kind of set it up that like there's going to be some sort of really big problem with... They had to... What happened was, in the story, their Earth died. They got a new Earth. But the problem with this new Earth is there's no natural resources whatsoever underneath it. So they might have to go somewhere else. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. Fuck, I'm a fucking nerd, and that's why you watch this shit. Anyways, I have a question. When, they, when all the Superman and Batman comics revert over, do their numbers change? What do you mean? Because if you're going up to 1,000, what do you do with the 50 other comics that you have? Oh, no, they're all just going to be new number ones, and they'll keep rolling them out. Uh, yeah. Yes. Do you think that actually uh, people that uh, really invest into every single issue and have them all there feel a little bit kind of cheated by the fact that there is that reset button? Listen, I'll tell – follow creators. <laughs> follow – find writers and artists that, that you like. like their work yeah. and follow them. Like don't because you know they'll give you good to, stories. Yeah, because because I love Superman, but there's some been some real garbage Superman runs over the years, and I don't need to spend money on that. This current mm-hmm. one's yeah. not great. Uh, <laughs> I, Savage Earth, I liked whatever. Well, yeah, another time, another day. Another day. Is, when the new number ones hit, look at the creative team, see what stories sound most interesting, pick those up, and if you don't like them, drop them and try new things. Yeah, there you go. that's the beauty of number ones yeah. is you it's can try good, them all out. It's a good opportunity to try a bunch of new things. Yeah. Cool. Let's start Wait. talking TV, gang. Please. Let's. Agent Carter. Yeah. Two episodes. Two episodes two. this week, which is, they're airing two this week, two next week, and then the one-hour finale. And, and to me, this just says, we are canceling this show. It is getting garbage ratings. 
even though it's a good show. And so hey, we are going to double up and burn off these episodes as fast as we can so we can bring back Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. before our entire Marvel brand has been destroyed on ABC. And, like, that's... Re- it's Guys, sad. why aren't you watching Agent Carter? It's good. It's so short. It's nice and... It's Real like a nice size. little taste, a nice little side dish that's like campy and frothy and fun, and it looks different and it feels different. Yeah. But no, we need and it, technology. Uh, and it also has they Haley have Atwell. You Luddite? And, and they have Haley Atwell, Atwell. who is oh, amazing. I, she, I like her more than basically I, everybody on Agent Basically, yeah. what's yeah. going to happen is if Haley Atwell was standing at a bar, all of us would fight each other for her. Yeah. Yes. And Sam would get her yeah. because <laughs> he is the youngest. Does any of you do you know I don't understand how that works? Is she like a massive cougar? Do you uh, want yes. anyone <laughs> want the season to end with like ha- Haley Atwell somehow miraculously ending up on Agents of Shield in the present? Yes. <laughs> yes. Wow. Even Star was like yeah. double hands up. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But she's an old woman in Winter no, that's, Soldier. No, that's what I want. The, I want the. That's what I want. I want Agent Agent Carter to end with the last scene. We see like a montage of her life. And then the last scene is the scene from Winter Soldier where Cap's with her as an old woman and he leaves. And then she rips off her old woman makeup, gets up, and she's bam, young again. Bam, bam. And it's wow. just yeah. the freaking music from she, Kill and Jar- Bill. And, Jarvis, and she like <laughs> slow motion walks down and, a hall. Jarvis, and Jarvis pulls up with a convertible and she gets in and they peel away. Bam, bam, How does it happen? Bam, I don't know, bam, but I want bam. it. DJ, get on that writing team yeah. stat. Please. Oh, See? Goodness. Follow creators. Yeah. Like DJ. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's, get, let's talk about these two episodes. Yeah. They are called Life of the party and oh. monsters <gasps> mm, spooky <laughs> also uh, really party. I gotta point out really quick when they were like oh uh, Whitney's in Santa Clarita in New Hall that's where my high school was <laughs> like, I gotta break down I was like in New Hall so cool oh look at <laughs> 1940s <laughs> yeah. that's my hometown <laughs> anyways let's talk about the show yeah <laughs> how did you guys feel about Dottie coming back love her Yay. yeah, yeah. yeah. She's my, great. my only issue with Dottie coming back was why didn't we bring her back last week when we were calling up the Z team <laughs> like you're pulling out secretaries and stuff like that and by the way where are all those people I guess the one lady is with her mom who's My in favorite. surgery no, the, this is the train of events they went on like the mission yeah. she got the rebar through her stomach yeah. went home yep. he started to erase from existence next day they do this mission they go get Dottie and everything yeah. Yeah. but that night when they're planning on going to get Dottie they're like now that woman went on she's in Europe with her dad or something like that and I was like what, what? the fuck happened that was it's the 40s they don't have, you're not going real fast anywhere she's this at the airport I don't know because yeah. Haley Atwell goes everywhere <laughs> Yeah. Super fast. Yeah. This, she gets this stabbed isn't, through hey, the heart, and now this, she's just walking around. Uh-huh. This, is, this isn't like Arrow, where you can be Nanda Parbat the next night. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was a spa trip. Yeah, man. yeah. Like exactly. yeah. <laughs> Nanda Parbat is in Indiana, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But Team Dotty. Yeah. yeah, Team Dottie all the way. Oh, I for sure. Really like that actress. I really like her rapport with the team. Yep. I really liked her and Jarvis playing off each other. Mm-hmm. But my favorite dynamic was Jarvis with Thompson. Yeah, yeah. Like Jarvis when Jarvis gets serious because mm-hmm. he's yeah, usually a little campy. Yes. he always reminds me of the father in Jumanji. Hmm. Do you remember yeah. that? I like, can't the, shake that. The, f- the father. Yeah. What is father the father in Jumanji? He as played Cadbury in something you're else. Too deep down oh. the rabbit hole. Oh no! I, it's like at the beginning of the movie oh, before Robin Robin Williams. Williams. Dad? Yeah, Robin yeah, Williams' okay, is dad. Okay. Sorry, um. that I digress. Basically, <laughs> yeah. you do kind of have him oh, a little bit pompous and a little bit. So yeah. it was lovely to see a different side of him. There's a little bit of light and shade. Yeah. Like when he's speaking truth to Thompson, like, hey, man. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. He regulated. Also, mm-hmm. also uh, Dottie's costume, black and red, had a little diamonds mm-hmm. on there full of Black Widow. Little uh, that was a lot of fun. The mm-hmm. original Black mm-hmm. Widow appearance, she didn't have the cat suit. She had a uh, dress like that. <laughs> oh, no. sick. Oh. <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. Um, because for those that don't know, she is in the same uh, assassin program as Black Widow. Yes, yes. Leviathan. Um, I really loved seeing them play off of each other. I like how quickly the Madame Mask storyline is developing. Mm-hmm. Yes. I love Whitney Frost taking out all of uh, the arena club. Finally, like yeah. I that. wanted. I wanted. To, I've been wanting to do that since episode one. Thank yeah. God they didn't take out Ray Weiss. Right? He's my fucking He's so favorite good. actor. Ever. I love his little thing. Just one thing. I'm so excited about you our little collaboration. little brown nose and piece yeah. of shit. <laughs> like it, I wish she kind of killed him then. It was yeah. like, no, nah, I'm not going to have that on the team. <laughs> that, that was, was kind of brutal good. the way they attacked her, though. But you knew that they were going to... Well, it, it, yeah. I like the CGI frightened. for that, yeah. too, when she's torturing Dottie. Mm-hmm. It's like, that looks Terrifying. Really, yeah. the, the goo in, the, in yeah. the mouth, in so the throat. I've got a lot to say about that. That is reverse drowning. That mm-hmm. is drowning from the inside instead of being like... It's going through her veins oh. and everything. Yeah. And, and can we re- uh, flash back to the first time that Dottie was in an interrogation room mm-hmm. and how yeah. ineffective that was and how she was never scared and they couldn't break her at all? Yep. And then you saw her like this and she was... 
like scared for her life. Yeah. And that contrast was incredible. I loved her with Vernon Masters. Like I pulled out my own teeth. I pulled out my own hair. Like this is calm fine. down. Your yeah. forehead can't scare me. <laughs> exactly. <you know>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I listen, want, Red. <laughs> I want Peggy Carter to knock his freaking block off. Yeah. I'm so sick of this character. Kurtwood Smith is doing an amazing job making me just hate him. Hate him. No. Yeah. 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 Don't worry. Don't worry. Whitney Frost will probably suck him up. Yeah, Yay. Yay. Yeah. I uh what what, what uh, I also liked it when it kind of like more of the second episode. I kind of I like that the was second better. episode. The second right. episode's what so I've been monsters. wanting from uh Agent Carter this season the whole time. Like if I find like intrigue, like yeah. there's finally stuff going on. By the way, the return of uh Mrs. Jarvis who is yeah, awesome. Love I yeah. love her so She's much. Right. So good. And I loved her little thing like I'm not going to be tell you to stop because I know this is important for you. Just let me worry. Yeah. That's cool. But those Thank two you. as well, like they they are so fitting together. She's yeah. just as quirky as he mm-hmm. is, a little bit eccentric, and I I don't know. They work great together. What yep. is her accent? It's German. Supposed to be German. She, oh. Yeah, because there's a, the story in season. So she she's Hungarian. Yeah. Hungarian. Yeah. In the show, because he, he helps her escape the yeah. Nazis. Mm-hmm. That's their backstory. From uh, yeah, season I remember one. that. That and that was a great yeah. backstory. I just yeah. there. I was throughout the episode. I was like, mm, it's it's fluid. Yeah, it's fluid. I, I even thought stuff. before the Dottie reveal, and I was thankful Dottie was in it. Like, we need somebody that could do this. I thought Mrs. Jarvis. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Oh, yeah, okay. no. Well, cool. I was happy Dottie popped up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I, what do you guys feel about Wilkes is becoming tangible and all that kind of <sighs> stuff? He's becoming tangible Wilkes. where it counts. Did you notice? Her? Immediate kiss. <laughs> yeah. Immediate. Yeah. Immediate. Right out the gate. I don't care about Wilkes. Oh, neither yeah. do I. I yeah, no, I don't I think don't. anybody actually cares about I was, him. I was, Excuse me. I would say I care a little. I was initially really excited they introduced somebody of color into the show. Yeah. yeah. And I was excited that he was a scientist and he had yeah. a cool thing. But really he's so intelligent. I don't like the uh, Agent Carter love triangle. Okay, I love yeah. that there is a love triangle. Really? Yes, I and can't I get into not only it. like she was like I indulged to that. Maybe yeah. I shouldn't have done that, but I the, did. Her conversation with Jarvis about it was um, awesome. Yeah, was great. They addressed the elephant in the room in such a candid way that yeah. it was just fun. But just like we have so much love for Peggy Carter, and she's such a superwoman that a a, a love triangle between Peggy Carter, Daniel Souza, and the ghost of yeah. Cur- of it's Captain America <laughs> fits more with her character than this guy. Yeah, um, yeah, I think it's. I guess it's, it's kind of like if Captain. America spent half of Civil War like I don't know if I should do Black Widow or whatever. Like you're Captain yeah. America, come get over it. Like, like yeah. I'm, I find I find Peggy Carter more impressive than Captain America. So it's like you're above this. Get over it. I don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but let's be honest, like Team Caesar as well. Yeah, oh, yeah, because I don't, totally. He's beautiful. Yeah, even when together. he's like hung over and sad because his wife left him. Yeah. Oh, girlfriend. Girl, uh, fiance, fiance, whatever fiance. the hell, whatever the she hell. broke off the yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, and but uh, it also that conversation in the car between them kind of justified a little bit me for, for me Peggy's backstory because having that relationship with her brother kind of shaded her relationship with Jarvis hmm. and kind of explains their rapport a little bit more. It, 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 it grounds it a little more for me. Yeah, didn't need explanation. There, well, it though, didn't, it but so that's true. But yeah, but they do have like a nice brother sisterly. Yeah. and I also love a show that's able to have a guy and a girl like be teammates and they don't like there's not like sexual tension and stuff. Yeah, they don't need it. Yeah. No, we All don't. Right. We don't. And it's it's mature of the show. Any yeah. other thoughts before we move on? What would you guys rate it? What would I rate it? Uh, both episodes Ooh. combined. Both. I put them together. Combined, I, I, I would. I, I would, preferred monsters. I preferred monsters as well. To co- combined, I would give it a seven point five. I would say if Life of the Party was like a solid seven. Light, fun, moved the plot forward, didn't offend me. Um, I would give Monsters an eight point five. One of the better episodes of the show. Yeah. Okay, I give it. A, Seven, and I feel like I'm being generous. I've been putting both of them together. I don't know. Something about it was just that both both the episodes, Monsters was better. I was a little bored. I'm going to be completely honest. A hmm. little bored. Uh, yeah. See, I, I got all soppy going, oh, I want them to kiss. Oh, mm. yay. I love that kind of stuff. But yeah, I want them to kiss too. Ooh, 7.5. I like, I like that when they were about ready, ready to kiss and the guy, the guy fell on the roof of the car. That was cool. Why but I, I was like, oh, there was like lightning in that yeah. chemistry. I, like, yeah. uh, I think I can never rate this show too low just because I... I really appreciate it. Like, mm. I really like what it's doing. Uh, even even this season, I haven't been as invested. I'd even say, though it's a Marvel show, DJ? <sighs> it's not Marvel or DC. It's where I follow the creators. I like what they do with the show. I find it, whatever, whatever. Um, I'll give this an 8.5 because what? of Monsters. Because oh, of Monsters. What? I really, I no. really like Monsters. Uh, yeah. DJ's uh, feeling guilty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the Life of the Party was like a 7.5 to an 8 for me. Yeah. Mm. Monsters was a solid. I'd, I'd give it like an 8, 8.5. Cool. Lovely. No. Okay. Let's talk Flash. Fuck yeah. Escape from <laughs> Earth 2. Fuck yeah. I thought this episode was 
way better than last week's. It it built on in every single way. There were a couple like dumb moments where it's like they're hanging out in Zoom's lair, just waiting for him to come back instead uh, of rushing out of there. That's because we found out that it's actually Zoom is Jay Garrick, and he was that's and Jay was over there. Oh uh, wait, no, never mind. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, no yeah. way, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, oh, and and also, is he does. listening the whole time? Because when like uh, uh, what's her name, Jesse brings up something, he comes in and finishes the sentence. I was like, <laughs> did you? Where were you? Were you standing? He's just over vibrating there? over in the corner. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Uh, I like this episode better than last week's too, even though it didn't have as many fun reveals. Like two reveals, there yeah, wasn't like a big right. like Barry's like, oh, I'm gonna abort a whole mission just to fuck around for a little bit. Yeah, there right. wasn't any of that shit. Holding but like, back. I loved Barry this week. No. I loved Barry. Both Barrys. Because he was Both vulnerable. Barrys. Yeah, I really liked Barry. I was really proud of Grant Gustin. Mm-hmm. It reminded me a lot recently. Uh, I'm proud of. I am I'm proud, proud of Grant, proud of Grant Gustin. Yeah. Like in the finale he, when he cried. Yeah. yeah. Like when he when he, when yeah. he like you see him <laughs> progress as an actor. Yeah. They did You're something. Proud of He's getting better and better. They yeah. did something yeah. in Supergirl of uh, the last episode where Martian Manhunter goes has to disguise himself as Kara at mm-hmm. work, and so it's Melissa Benoist having to play Martian Manhunter as her. Playing, and it's one yeah. of those like Melissa Benoist. She really is. Like, that show can be very wonky. Yeah. Melissa Benoist as Supergirl at the center is rock solid mm-hmm. on that show. Mm-hmm. Which it, is so what we're it's getting with thing. Flash. Yeah, with yeah. Grant Gustin. Like, seeing him be very, uh, from Earth, it's like, oh, this is fun. Yeah. Uh, I have to, this is one of my favorite episodes because Zoom is finally scary. Mm-hmm. Or Zoom he's scary for the first time since he first came since to... Since he fucked up Barry that one yeah, time. That yeah, that wasn't... Okay, I'm that, sorry. That I wasn't scary. scared me when he's it, rushing everybody around showing, hey, here's your broken back hero. Yeah, it, that <laughs> I saw was scary. I saw yeah. it was supposed to be scary. No. I wasn't scared. The most scary thing was he wrote uh, Bring Me Wells well, in the side of a building and then the, I think the part where I was like, holy shit, when he put his hand through the door yeah. mm-hmm. and then came through I'm like, Wait, why didn't he just check that other wall? I mean, he was just yeah. checking walls. Like, why didn't he just go over there and like, oh, this isn't a door. Okay, I'll kill all three yeah, really quick. Yeah. How but- come Earth 2 is, like, every person on Earth 2 is so much more tapped into their powers than Earth 1? Uh, you know. Like, huh? vibrate? Oh, I mean, yeah, it's been well, two well, years. Yeah, it's, it's been longer, technically. Mm. A question just occurred to me that hadn't before. Yes, Matt? Why does <laughs> Zoom know that the time vault's there? He... I don't think he did. I think he. So he's just sensed... dragging his hand along. No, I think, I think he is. did whatever. Like you know, when you knock on, I, I think he sensed that it was hollow, so he okay. just checked that specific spot out because it yeah. didn't look like his arm was just going through. You stuff. know, when you sense a time yeah. vault when you're walking through. Yeah, a you know, when you just sense a time building. vault. There's yeah. a time Which, vault. By the way, here. Why would you call it a time vault considering it's that you not didn't come back in vault. time? No time travel like, has been it, going actually, on. That was just a storage room when you looked at it. Like I was like, why did you hide it like this? Yeah, like water bottles in the corners because it's a place for me to hang out. Smoke doobers, you know, Harrison Wells. Let me think. I uh, I liked Jesse and Barry's relationship a lot, and I yeah. like smart people doing smart things on the show, like the five by five code. I was like, mm-hmm. what? That yeah. is, and I was now, like, now here's the five by five code. Raise some questions because well, obviously we're asking. It's our question of the day: Who is the man in the iron mask? Yeah, yeah. And J-A-Y. The, send me your questions yeah. on yeah. Twitter. Yeah. He said J A Y. So. Uh, I think it's pretty fair to believe that Jay Garrick is behind the mask, but I look back through the comics, and Jay Garrick has never been a POW in any arc that I, I, I could find. He, I but there was, was a War of the be, Americas. I think it was supposed That's to be true. a reference to World War II, because he said uh, code from POWs in World War II. I think it was a throwback to Jay Garrick supposedly being from World War II, but, in the, not, not in this continuity, but in the comics during, after In Crisis <laughs> Okay. And oh, also, you mean when just, they brought him just, back? I think it was also just supposed to be like, oh, it can't be Morse code. That's played out. Right. You know what I mean? I don't think it's necessarily character related, although Sam's right. There was a war of the Americas, whatever. Then. Right. Yeah. Oh. So the, the prevailing theory that I've seen in a lot of places, and I think that this is pretty, it's not rock solid, but it's the one that makes the most sense to me, yep. is that uh, that is Jay Garrick in the, in the Iron Mask. The person that we've been seeing who has no powers Hunter and never Zolan. had powers is isn't Hunter Zolomon. Hunter oh. Zolomon is Zoom. The person that we've met is the rival who is Jay Garrick's reverse flash. I, Wait. I, you can learn more about that in the 101 I did. Yeah. Yeah. I, I pray that that is not the case. I don't, I really don't want there to be three evil Jay twin Garrick's is real dumb. Right. No, I just, three is too many. We've already introduced Earth 2. I don't need three of a person running around. I really mm. couldn't get my head around that. Think about this. I mean, everyone's been tweeting this to me, which I didn't really think about, but Darth Cash at Cash 10 I strongly, I strongly believe Zoom is future Jay. 
Maybe. Whoa, that's know. still three J's. <laughs> <laughs> that's too many. You're still too, too many. Yeah. <laughs> the only person that Zoom could be that would not feel overly convoluted and a pain, like I'd be excited about, is if he was Earth 2A. Yeah. If he's Earth 2A, down. I'm down. If it's, if it's Henry Allen, if it's a fucking Earth 2 Barry secretly somehow being... Bu- I, no. no, I'm not into it. Uh, I do have to ask you guys this, and if you want to jump in the comments with this one as well, how many more episodes of not knowing who Zoom is could you bear before you're like, I don't was care? desperately I, hoping this was the episode. I thought they were going to do it. I really thought they were going to do They're it. They're milking it. I will actually be honest. Hard. I didn't care anymore. I was just like, hey, Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. I don't care. Zoom is Zoom. I wanted to know the man in the mask more. They, yeah. they built that up, and they've made that mystery Way more interesting with simple just taps on glasses. Like, yeah. Jay, what about Jay? I, I think I can't explain them revealing Hunter Zolomon because I told Sam a theory. My theory was that that there's Jay Garrick and Hunter Zolomon. Oh yeah. Right? <laughs> so the person we've met is Hunter Zolomon from Earth One that's kind of butthurt that he's not the Flash of our Earth. And so he's working with Zoom to get speed. Oh. Mm. The guy that when he's like, oh, that's Hunter Zolomon, that that was Jay Garrick before he got Iron Masked. And so that's Jay Garrick. And then Sam reminded me that Jesse Quick said that guy in Iron Mask has been there since she's been there. Yeah. I'm like, son of a bitch. Yeah. But I, I think it's I think there's the two J's and I think that Zoom is not Jay Garrick. Well, yeah. Well, we definitely know that Jay is lying because he said that Zoom stole his speed. But as we already know, <laughs> Zoom needs Harrison Wells to steal Barry's speed. So there's no way and that also, he could have stolen Jay's speed. And then he walked that back and was like, oh, you know how I told you that big uh, backstory? It turns out I was just taking a drug or something yeah, and yeah. that screwed me up. He didn't have, Zoom didn't take his speed. They yeah. established that last he never had the speed force in his body. Never, ever. He's been lying from no, moment well, one. Th- that's not, not good no, he did have the lie. speed. He did have the that speed force. True. He was just trying to. <laughs> ju- the story he's got now is he did have speed force and he's been juicing it. That's what he's Boy, saying. That's what he said. Our theory but, is that he never had. Right, because when they did medical tests on him at the beginning of the series, he had no trace of the speed force in his right. body, <gasps> and I don't think he ever did. Yeah. Right. It's also possible. Have we 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 met a shapeshifter metahuman on this earth, right? Yeah, but he was killed. Earth two shapeshifter. Yeah, but he was so killed. So we have on Earth two. That guy coming across as Jay Garrick from Earth two. <laughs> that's why there would be no speed force in his body. The velocity drugs would affect but, him the same way as anybody else. But he's not. They, they, they would have sensed that they would have detected that he was a metahuman. Uh, they don't have a, <laughs> no, 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 no. They don't have a, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. No, no, no. Don't worry. There's 20 clones. And they're all switch your point. I don't know. <laughs> I just want to enjoy the show without hurting. Okay. Here we go. Here's my theory. Here it's the go. right one. Dumb it down. There's no reason why. I'm just going to say. Zoom. Yep. Is. Shut up. <laughs> Zoom. Is. Eddie. Uh-huh. Our uh, Eddie. Uh, didn't uh, die from the bullet wound. <laughs> didn't die. Sure. Because... V- Time travel bullshit, all right? Yeah. He got sucked through the wormhole, got speed force bullshit because he went through the time stream. That's why it's blue, mm-hmm. all right? And he's like, oh, wait, there's another flash here? Jay? I'll grab Jay, and he put him in the fucking thing. Nah. <sighs> Fuck, I'm back battling. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know. Riders, why did you yeah. do this? Riders, you need does to he have up. the speed What's force? What's going on is that they have to milk the identity of Zoom, and it's happened for so long that they are literally trying to get it working. But and that's the problem. Here's they don't have to milk the identity of Zoom. Okay. They never had to milk the identity of Zoom. It, it, a character is always more compelling when we have a personal relationship to is them. And knowing who Zoom is and why he's doing what he's doing would infinitely make him a more fascinating villain. Is, right. It would affect yeah. Barry more. Is, is we the, got it. Zoom's Wally. They're right. Oh. That's there we go. That's oh. how you make Wally and yeah. 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 There you go. Uh, <laughs> was there, is there a way? Like, Kronos has been popping in in Legends of Tomorrow. He's got a mask. We don't know what his voice is, but nobody's like, oh, who's Kronos? Like, who's he in the mask? Because it doesn't I mean, matter. Is there a way that we could have, like, oh, Zoom, and not raise the question that he could be somebody? So He's that his they, own entity. Yeah, so that when we did the review, we were like, oh, shit, I didn't even think that he would be. Yeah, instead of having us question it for months. Was there a way that they could have played it Here's how. You have him after he's, like, like broken Barry's back and he's lying on the ground he like demasks himself and he's a freaking monster yeah. and he's just like zoom yeah. maybe he's the shark it's just yeah. a black hole where there's mouth yeah there. exactly that would be cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> I would love that huh Who do, okay hold on uh huh let's go down the line who do we want zoom to be who do we want the man in the iron mask to be <laughs> who, who do we want? I like who we think? Who do we want? I, I don't know. I don't know what I want anymore. No. I want it to happen quickly. Yeah, I, want yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree. I think it should have been if they. Two it should have been episodes. episode when he showed up and broke Barry's back. Yep. We should have found out who it was. Yeah. 
I, it's to me, it's just J J Hunter's J. It's like let's just figure that out and and come up with a way to make the third J. <laughs> Not lame. Okay, I got it. Good I luck got with it. That. All right, so Limitless is on CBS, right? It's yeah. Supergirl's on CBS, uh-huh. and this could be a crossover event. Uh-huh. Maybe Zoom. This is Dylan Wells. A DW does it. Maybe yeah. Zoom took the Limitless drug. And got <laughs> speed. I Both. believe that makes as much sense as about everything else we're saying. saying. Throw it yeah. in the mix. Yeah. I uh, uh, I do one oh, thing. Jesus I do like Christ, about the idea about the J comment. that we met yeah. is not <laughs> the uh, the J that we've met is not the real J. Because that explains why he's such a cowardly, useless piece, piece of, of shit. shit. Yeah, yep. that would actually make sense. And, but- then, and then when we release Iron Mask, like we turn Jay's a super crazy, awesome speedster, badass. Like ama- Like I would love that so much. Agree. I would forgive a lot. And one of them has to be Wally, so that it makes sense, so that that story arc can continue. Wally's gonna further. be Kid Flash, and then they're gonna make a Teen Titan show, please. Teen Titan. <laughs> uh, so who do we want? No, we don't say? care. I said, I said, I think it being Jay is great. Hunter, Jay, Wait, Jay let's Jay, just I do it down. already. Oh, All right, this is the guy in the mask. Yeah. Um, Rip the bandaid off. Just do it. It's Jay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fine. Man in the mask. I'll go with Jay. Zoom is Wally. That way, Wally does something at the end of the season. Man, oh. there you go. Man in the mask is Wally. Zoom is Sam. There you go. Zoom, Perfect. Boom, boom, Everybody knows. All right, so I, I think <laughs> I want Eddie. Iron Man and Iron Mask to be the real Jay yeah. Garrick badass, and I, I really want Zoom to be Earth to Eddie. Please, Earth, oh. please. All right, and quick shout out to Velocity Nine, which in the comics has terrible side effects. It yeah. was originally created by Vandal Savage hey. as a super speed drug. But oh, fortunately, yeah. fortunately, yeah. fortunately, yeah. he. Yeah. Velocity Grass 9 to save those three people that were trapped in that building. Yeah, he did a great oh, job. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Jay. <laughs> but you know what? The over the overarching stuff that it connects to is very frustrating because it hasn't been resolved. But the episode on its own was good. I liked this episode. I did too. I really wish they showed when they climbed the ice mountain that, that yeah, Killer Frost made. made. Oh, they didn't, they didn't. He's like, but when Barry referenced it, it was like, I climbed an ice mountain with ice holes. I was like, man, by I really the, wish I saw that. Yeah, like, by I really by wish, the way, was anybody yeah. with uh, uh, um, I'm sorry. Killer Frost. Uh, the Killer Frost and Deathstorm. No. Cisco. Really? Cisco, thank you. Yeah. I don't know why Ooh, my brain just uh, he just went away. When they were when they were talking, like when he was trying to get through to her, you were yeah. just, and you were like, Hank Kid. Like they had a yeah. really they nice. really worked. Yeah. Like, yeah, that was really interesting. Well, that's the thing, is like Cisco, for whatever reason, he's just he got pulled with female supervillains, Golden <laughs> Glider, anyone? Mm-hmm. Which by the way, back, can maybe. we kill yeah. off Iris from Earth One yes. and Caitlin from Earth yes. One and so their Earth Two counterparts can come yeah. and uh, be efficient and be do more cool interesting. Things? Yeah. I have to say, one of the times I cheered this week was when Jay got Zoom's arm through his back and got pulled through the portal. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Yeah. I was so you happy. Did I was like, I was like, yay! Look, you're important now. Oh I was God. shocked. I was very surprised. I wasn't. He was hanging around. Yeah, there. he was, was hanging. Like, you're gonna he get did that caught. classic like walk up to the portal and turn his back like. Yeah. I'm waiting. We well, did I thought it. he was going to get sucked in. I didn't think he was going to get an arm True. through the chest. Yeah. Uh, he's claw. fine. He's fine. All right. Tis but a scratch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, the um, the fortress and the ice uh, bridge and all that has been giving me Dungeons and Dragons ideas. So oh, sick. Ooh. Ooh. What if, wait, hold on. MG, MGAR... Garcia, Mick Garcia says, what if Jay has a twin and the guy in the iron mask is Jay who has the speed force and his twin went through and he's Stop. the one on Earth if, one who doesn't have speed force and he's trying, trying to figure, figure out how to get speed, speed force, force to Trump, Trump his twin. twin. Please don't let there be a third Jay. <laughs> wait, hold I on. don't want a third he's Jay. Manos, wait, Minus Manos? Who's the one from Teen Titans, a TV show? Uh, ma, mas, ma, mas Menos. Mas Menos. That's okay. who he is. That's that, who they are. That's they who they are. They run. Perfect. Alright, let's talk about Arrow. Please. Some of your questions and Topics and yeah. I think comments. we need to um, talk about the big thing uh, that, that happened at the end of the episode, which was Felicity getting the gift of being able to walk again. Ooh, yeah. That was cool. Oh, that was so I almost yeah. cheered up. Yeah. That was really, it was cute. really beautiful. It's a so little so weird echo, fucked up. Echo <laughs> Callum? Echo Callum. You don't think it's a little so convenient? so sincere in that. It made me, He's like, my oh. favorite. He is yeah. so... And like, it's nothing against uh, Ray He's or adorable. Brandon Routh, but like, I liked him last season, but Curtis is so much better. <laughs> I love Curtis... You're terrific. Yeah. <laughs> Wink. 
Because he's Mr. <laughs> Terrific in the comics. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he did a terrific job of whipping he up did. that shit. I thought you were oh, going to talk about the reveal. Yeah. I thought you were going to talk about the reveal at the end that uh, Damien Dirk's master plan is to make William his daughter's play date. Yeah. <gasps> oh. <laughs> you <laughs> bastard. Yeah. I'm going to be. Oh, no, my daughter's a real bitch, Oliver. You don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know. Yeah, he's gonna make She's not going to share uh, any uh, of the yeah, toys. No. <laughs> um, this is probably going to be a little, I don't know, brutal. But agree or disagree, now that we know that Felicity can kind of get back in the action, she may become a bit more interesting again. The last few episodes have really? fallen flat for Felicity I've, with I've me. Liked Felicity. I like Felicity. I thought they gave her a good conflict oh, yeah, okay. with the. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they also pedal. gave her okay. a ghost yeah. goth self. To talk that to was like that. I didn't real like bad. That was weird. Yeah. That was Not weird. Great. That deserved this to be is the first episode where I liked Felicity's mum more than I liked Felicity. I kind of did too. But nothing yeah. against Felicity for me. I did, but I did like her mom more. I, yeah. I like her making uh, Captain Lance uncomfortable when she's trying to get it on in his office. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, it, it was really interesting because I really liked the way that arc played out. And I hope it informs the kid arc, which I really don't like. Yeah, you're not on board with this. Because, because um, they're, the whole like... Mom, you really should trust the guy in your life, even though he's lying to you, and trust that he just has his best, his best interests at heart. Yeah, and it's like what the and then, but then at the end, Captain Lance mans up and it's like, listen, not only he could have just said, listen, I'm working with the mm -hmm. Green Arrow, yeah, and it's dangerous. He, that's the truth. He could have yeah. gotten away with it. No, full bore. Mm -hmm. I was working for Damien Dark to protect my daughter. I did all these bad things. That's what, but me. that's like that's what a real man does. <laughs> but he owns but, up to his shit. He's honest to his partner. What like, I don't understand it, is uh, why we've got two women in women Oliver's life. One is like, you need to not tell anybody to protect our son. And so mm -hmm. he's lying to Felicity. Why don't you lie to the, that woman and say, listen, I'm not going to tell anybody. Because we know Felicity can keep a fucking secret. Yeah. yeah. Just, hey, Felicity, this is what's going down. I saw we. Yeah. I, I, gotta, know. I gotta Don't out. tell this bitch because she's gonna freak the fuck <laughs> out about it. Flip. I got a Don't quick uh, tweet for you, Michael Maurer at Meyer Bay Broad can't read it. You good enough. Well yeah. with that. We knew Felicity was going to walk again by uh, she didn't have a wheelchair when she was in the limo after the grave scene. Well, but she was Most people in don't chair. sit in wheelchairs in the limo. In a limo. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so that wasn't a really big hint. <laughs> but uh, I, I am kind of bummed that it, she's losing the wheelchair so quickly. I was kind of hoping... It was a fun little thing. She gained confidence with it. And then I, she lost it. I know. I yeah. don't think it was handled realistically. I know that if it was... Um, you know, the fact that Ollie's going through this whole campaign thing, there's a yeah. lot of stress, there's a lot of pressure. I think that that could have affected his relationship a little bit more. Like, it's like, yeah. I've got to make sacrifices to look after the woman I love, yeah. or I'm, you know, needing a little bit more in the sack that I'm not getting, like, whatever. But a real, like, a realistic. Uh, I was going to make a very kind of, crude joke that I'm glad that I did It was kind of dusted over. Make. It was just like, everything's great. Yep. She'll get better instead she of actually having this real situation and saying this, you know, there are consequences. Do you, you think, our life though, now? that maybe yeah. that would have dragged down? Because at the end of the day, these these shows play with some heavy themes, but they're not, I mean. They're not dealing with. It's not Jessica things. Jones. This isn't Jessica Jones. Mm -hmm. right. I, it I does, it think, doesn't have the infrastructure even, to support something that. It, it's more realistic. Yeah. But then again, I mean, people are ziplining off. Yeah, right. That's I don't realistic. think that it would mm. have dragged the show down. The one thing that I that I am happy about it going away is every time that this show cribs from Batman, yeah, a little it, weaker. it, it weakens the brand. Yeah. Like, let it be its own thing. This isn't Batman. We mm. don't need the League of Assassins. That's why I'm glad they're going away. Yeah, we don't dumb. need Oracle. I'm glad that's going away. Yeah. Like, let's not crib from Batman. This is a character with a rich history. Let's just mine from that. What did you True. guys think of the... Because this is essentially a filler episode, right? We can yeah. 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 But, but it's like building up to something. But though. they... they Use that as an opportunity, like, hey, let's go crazy with the action sequences. I this loved week. it. Mm -hmm. yeah. What did you guys think? The demolition Nail crew? Gun. Nail, oh, Nail gun. Yeah. The yeah. fact that we're seeing, I mean, We've seen how many bow and arrows the last four seasons. I love that there's a nail gun that's frightening. Nail gun, the sledgehammer. Yeah. Sledgehammer was scary. Wow, they kind of just... Uh, Diggle got hit with a Whoa, sledgehammer. Where, where the hell, and where the hell did Diggle get his like magnetic reversal? Yeah, yeah that's Whoa. really cool. Yeah, what the hell is that? <laughs> no wonder nobody's ever able to shoot them. They have like anti-magnet... Yeah. <laughs> you know, 
a good magnet cloak. Yeah. yeah. Some of the staging in action sequences, because it's a CW show, can be a little wonky at times, like oh. where yeah. people... But The direction this does... week was really solid. Ooh, yeah. The first half when there were action sequences, it literally looked like the rehearsal. It was just really kind of half us, and I noticed it because it stood out. But really? it's still cool yeah. to me uh, that they're... they motions. That the, it's the ambition of it. Like when yeah. you have people like doing like... There's no reason that the motorcycle needed to leap over the thing, but, but cool. It's not, like it's yeah. cool and engaging. Yeah. I don't know why he parked in the center of the park parking lot mm -hmm. when he was like oh i'm in the center of the parking lot completely exposed i'm completely like <laughs> i'd be near a pole or something i don't know i like but it, it was fun it was a lot of fun the mm -hmm. building demolishing while they're running laurel and lancer running out of there yeah. i like that a lot it was pretty cool and like it wasn't like that threatening but like yeah, it was it cool to see a continuous shot of them running out and it collapsing behind yeah, them. it wasn't like it's not the it was a little weird that the the stages that the building went down like if you start trying to like Think about but it's it. like this isn't a movie like the fact that a CW show did that and it was a long take and it was really dynamic and fun and cool and it was it was fun that they were trying different things yeah. mm -hmm. like you said like it's not just another like more bows and arrows yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. They, these guys are Dude, blowing buildings up and yeah. they're hacking with sledgehammers and nail guns and shit I hope we see them again I do too I, I was I a like big them. fan of them actually yeah. um I really quickly because someone mentioned it before and I can't remember your name it had spectator in it um but you and I are on the same page now that Felicity's going to be out of the wheelchair. She missed a perfect opportunity to soup that thing up to be its own weapon. Mm. Good point. Like hovering around. How and like cool would that have been? That would have been, been cool. I would have. Would you have been on point with the wheelchair then? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tech out the, the wheelchair. They just weren't utilizing it or you know making the most of this, that situation. It was kind of like they just would. Yeah, she's over just it. there in a wheelchair. She I didn't guess. even have a motorized wheelchair. She was doing this no yeah. the whole time. Yeah. Another thing that may surprise you guys. I thought Thea had a lot to work with this episode. I agree. Oh, with Oliver, when yeah. she's working, when she's dealing with um, with uh, Malcolm Merlin, when she's dealing with her father, I feel like she's at her best. Like between that and like investigating Ollie and like coming up with that stuff, it was her it's, best material in a while. I thought she did a good. I like that actress. I think Willa Holland does a really good job. I mm -hmm. think she started off as the worst character on the show and quickly became one of the best, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, the the what she was given the whole explanation of like you are completely right to keep this secret yeah why is it why is it's not right? it doesn't yeah. make any sense it doesn't make sense what do you guys think about this I got a tweet here from Jeremy Levin oh I love that, that. Jeremy Levin one wrote did Damien murder William's mom I hope so. She's going on a trip. We need to watch the kid I for hope, a second. Now, it's cool to oh, say yeah. I hope that she's I, dead. I hope she. she I, 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 because I, uh, because I Damien, because because I like a Damien Dark that does not fuck around. I like that. And he never but has. in just in terms of like show construction, the idea of Oliver now having to have a kid and raise oh. a kid. Oh, I don't think that's going to happen. Is the worst idea. Yeah, I agree with that. I so I hope that. So you think happen. that the kid mm. dies. I don't. By the way, did we talk about this last week? Uh, if the kid is the one in the grave, that's a cop out. I agree. That's a major cop. One hundred percent. It needs to be someone we know. No, and does, we care no, about. Nobody on this couch cares about the kid. No, Wait, not really. Did, yeah. did Ollie have that discussion with Barry when they had that fusion episode? Yes. No. That could make sense. Go the, ahead. I was like, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, I wasn't here. Yeah. Da, da, da. I hope it's not. You the just kid, told me that's about it. Mm -hmm. Granted, I don't want it to be Thea or Diggle, but at least it's not a cop out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm going to get shit for saying it, but Laurel. It's not going to be Laurel. It, of, <laughs> it if if be you were to say the weakest Laurel. link. It's going to, no. It, and it's, it's not the actress's fault, you know? Yeah, yeah no, it's the bad writing. It's, it's they don't just, know they what never, to do with they her never now. Knew, so I was talking like, to Sam about this. How come um, Trish Walker and Jessica Jones is so great? And they, she was essentially the same as Laurel. She was basically useless the whole time. Because there's only two of them. But Trisha was amazing. And Laurel was like, Laurel, just please stop, Laurel. Please Laurel, stop. Don't she's competing again. with like don't four scream. or five others. Nah, maybe. Ah! <laughs> I don't know. Uh, look, it's probably going to be Captain Lance. It's probably going to be Captain Lance. Well, again, which sucks because Paul Blackthorne is awesome. Oh, He's he can't say a couple of words, though. Did you notice that? What? He kind of couldn't say a few words. We he was trying to have a conversation. He, he's so always he struggled went. with his accent and his his ability, to, his way to get over it is going hard, cool, hardcore old pulp detective. Yeah, and I've grown to like it. I've grown <laughs> yeah. to be into it. I was like, man, and he's got a good. I, he's a good dynamic with the team. Like, yes, I like, I like his begrudging need, respect with Oliver. These shows need an adult. Yes, they need yeah. an adult. Need an adult. Yeah. You do need an adult. Diggle is kind of an adult. Diggle, Diggle is kind of an adult. Yeah. yeah. What would you guys rate this episode? Ooh. It was Ooh. filler, but it had some killer moments. Yeah, I'd give it a... Seven. I'd give it a high seven, 7.9. 7 not an eight, though. Ooh. Not enough for an eight. Commit. Eh, not enough. I'm not, not going to commit. Don't run eight. the whole race and then just look at the finish line. That's what I usually did in races. 
team it's, got mad. I guess, yeah, I guess it's not a bad episode, but it was kind of a disposable episode. So it was last week in a way. It was like, oh, here's something huge that happened, which doesn't actually affect much. Also, mm-hmm. all the references, like, With I talked assassin. to my brother at least, like, two or three times in the episode, uh, Dickel comes out. I was talking to Andy. <laughs> Yeah. He's not right. Oh yeah, I was uh, talking uh, to Andy. We couldn't afford to have back this week. Yeah, and he then, says, and then the uh, and then the uh, I think that's how they paid for the action sequences. They didn't have Andy back, and they didn't have the uh, campaign manager. Right, Alex. Oh, he's yeah. off oh, yeah. with his mom. They did have Malcolm just sitting in a room, though. Yeah, yeah. That's true. That we had a hand and like yeah. pissy. So is he with part Hive. of Hive now? Yes. I, guess so. I would be. I'd be a little mad. Yeah. Oh, sixes. Six Tim point Allen. five. Tim Allen is Zoom. You're correct. Well, yeah. Yeah. Right, that's true. That actually is true. The Zoom, the, the <laughs> Zoom Academy that. movie. I give it an eight. Vixen's next week. I give it an eight. Yeah, no. you liked it. Vixen's yeah, Vixen's next week. No, Vixen. Vixen. That's what? live action Vixen. That's Vixen. cool. Yeah. No one's excited. I'm, ex- I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's gonna you be. I think it's gonna be really enough. cool. Thank you. I think it's gonna be really cool. I, I want to see how they do the animal spirits <laughs> on on TV. Literally what anyone is better than Laurel? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great. Some comment people disagree with from me. From Spencer but Francis, a lot of people are on Laurel's board gotten with my better thoughts. as she's just there to. Yeah. Get- the writers are starting Sweet. to understand how she could be an asset. Yeah, she's there mm. to talk, put somebody in their place. Hey, this, and then go. Yeah, that's what there. Diggle does, though. Yeah, that's true. Uh, let's yeah. do some. All right, let's All talk right. about some DC's Legends of talk Tomorrow. About Legends of it was uh, fun. It was yeah. a darker episode. Yeah, it fail safe. darker, mm-hmm. fun, mm-hmm. action packed. I, I really enjoy how they're continuing to develop these characters. I love how different this show feels. Yeah. It feels so different from everything. Anything else we've been watching, it doesn't feel like a case of the week ever, which is just like so exhausted. Ref- yeah, because well, it's is- just so refreshing. Because everything else, like di- like Arrow, Flash, I Zombie, Gotham, God forbid, Supergirl, <laughs> it's all villain or case of the week over and over and over yeah. and over and over again. And finally, there's a show that's just an adventure. No. We're just on a freaking adventure. A really fucking awesome adventure. Yes! And they were invention. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, <laughs> invention. definitely said that word right. All right. Uh, I really like this. Invention and I like, Sam Buffer. I love the development of Jax's character, Stein's character. Mick yes. was so good oh, in Mick this. Mick was great. Yeah. 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 He was shirtless as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah he's, he's got burns, burns all yeah. over him. Yeah. Burn. You were into it even with the burns? Well, remember how I worked at a bakery? There's yeah. this one bread loaf, and it's called the tiger loaf, and it actually looks, looks like, like his that. skin. Well, so, I was hungry. So you were kind of into it even with the burns. That's so I'm gonna gross. be honest. What you just I was said. gonna be honest. So... I was I was kind of into it even with the burns. I was like, yeah. good job, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm proud of you. you. Did good work. <laughs> I'm proud of yeah. you. I this episode just continues to cement that my favorite hands down character on this show is White Canary, is Sarah. Mm-hmm. Sarah is the best part of the show for me. Really? I don't hate her. Soon followed by Mick. Because Mick is awesome. Why? No, why is I like number one? Because <laughs> one, I think we know her Come better on. of yeah. all the characters she's oh, been around on. the most. She has the clearest <laughs> arc. <laughs> Come on. That's not the bread. Yeah. Like. Tell me she's got, she's got the most distinct art. And yeah. She also kicks the most fucking ass. Yeah. She is the assassin. Like, and when, I she liked... comes in, when she comes in, I just took out six guys. You can handle one. Mm-hmm. Like she, she gets the most fun moments. And then she was a sniper. Yeah. Like honestly, with her, Mick and uh, Captain Cold, yeah. part of me is kind of like. I wish it was a Suicide Squad show with just and villains those. like these guys. Mm. It, like I, but you like dynamics. I like Stein. And I Jack. love Stein. I do like Stein. Mm. Did anybody secretly hope that Ray would no that uh, Valentina would the hot become, firestorm become would the come new firestorm part of the team? No, somehow? Mm. but I mean, I no, think I but I mean, speak it was on cool. behalf of all of us that we actually like this woman quite a lot. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. Thought she, I thought she would have been cool. He, it wouldn't have worked because you would have had <laughs> She's to. Beautiful. She would have had to. Tell us how of, you really feel, Sam. <laughs> She's. Beautiful. You would either have to have gotten rid of <laughs> Stein, sure. yeah. who's one of the best parts. Of, Victor Garber is one of the best sh- parts of the show. Um, or Jax. Or Jax. And we just replaced Jax's part on the team. Right. But and it's Jax like, could you developing. imagine? Let's say, let's say we sacrificed one. If we sacrificed Stein this episode, <gasps> crazy. <laughs> and then instead of just having a scientist in his brain, he has a mad evil scientist. We get another badass female on the team who's yeah. a femme fatale mm-hmm. who can play off these other characters. Well, it would have been pretty cool. Well. I, it's probably the, for the best that they didn't, but you, we can all agree it would have been cool, right? She it would have been damn awesome. cool. Yeah. She looks really cool when yeah. she's Firestorm. Yeah. I think there's so room in the group. It was scary. Yeah. I was I, w- I did want a Firestorm versus Firestorm like if she could like in the comics sometimes they, could, like, split they don't need to merge no they oh, don't need to merge yeah. Uh, yeah. she needs to be a standalone so her and Captain Cold can get together <laughs> cold and hot it's the new Ronnie and Caitlin it's the way it should have been the first damn time but, it would have been better uh, uh, Cold and Sarah kind of have uh, at least a rapport yeah. I kind of part of me hopes it doesn't become romantic because I kind of just like their she's bi right the character's yeah. bi yeah because yeah. she was very much with Oliver yeah. Well, right. but she was also uh, very yeah. much with Nissa. With Nissa. If yeah. we're if we're if we're shipping, I ship Oliver and Sarah 
they thought that was Oliver's best relationship. I'm sorry, Smoke. Well, I didn't mind Huntress. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's that crazy. She, where's she been? Yeah, yeah. She's, yeah. she's in prison. She's in prison. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. They caught her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She and yeah. I are not. Yeah, mm-hmm. she should have been in Suicide Squad, but whatever. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it was. I thought it was cool. I kind of liked last episode more. Mm hmm. I I, it was a little, but I thought this yeah. episode did some cool things. Well, one was a recon and one was a rescue. Yeah. Hey, listen, this is on our first prison I know break, my spy okay? Agent. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, yeah, that, that was, was the good. third cheer. Yeah, when he was like, oh, this is on our first prison break. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love that. That yeah. made my day. That completely yeah. went woo, right <laughs> over my head. Really? Yeah. I was, oh, oh, I even said that to you when I watched it. I was like, ha ha. And you're like, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, you get it. Uh-huh. They're, no, they're criminals. Right. Yeah, they're criminals. I watched yeah. it. <laughs> I watched it yesterday, like before I came into work. It was like early in the morning. You know, it's. Kid, you know they're yeah. they're criminals no, for kids. Yeah, yeah. they're kids. <laughs> They've made note of, note of that a couple of times actually, which I appreciate. Hmm. Oh, what um, else did you guys like in this episode? I like the way it ended. Star City twenty forty six. Yes. God damn. Connor Hawk. Connor Hawk, yeah. Connor Hawk yeah. with his really, freaking armor suit. Yeah, I'm kind of blown by the suit because I was hoping it'd be more Batman Beyond. All right, yeah, now DJ the costume designer. No, but it like, here's the thing. Right, here's the thing. DJ the costume designer is like, coming no, out. I was hoping maybe like black with like neon. No, green No, it would have been awesome, but they have to figure green, out how to cut the maybe? budget. Yeah. Somewhere I because know. like I don't remember where I read this, but like they they blew the budget. For the first four episodes, they blew it again and again and again. They went over budget every single episode. That does not surprise me. Yeah. yeah. I do like what they're doing with Connor Hawk, that he's not Oliver's son, because it allows him to not be white. And it yeah. also Which allows it really to not cool. be spoilery, so you never really know what happens Yeah, because we we because when I, we heard it was Kid, oh, Connor Hawk. And yeah. Like, now it's William. Now but it's that's like, new guy. Then the question is, like, is Oliver, is like old Oliver, like Stephen Amell in old age makeup, is he going to be... In the next episode, he yes. is. He has been teased. There is yeah. a trail. He He's, Stephen Amell's tweeted out pictures of himself, and there's a tr- tr- the trailer. Oh, oh I have dodged yeah. that. If you, I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, there is a trailer where you see like there's just a tease of is like, he, a shadow. He's still hot, isn't he? You, you talk yes. about things being different than Batman. Man. If you guys don't want spoilers, cover your ears from the trailer. Three, though. From the trailer, though. Two. two. One. One. See, I gave you time this time. It appears that Oliver has not been training this new Green Arrow. Oh. He just took up the mantle and Oliver's been in hiding. So it's different than the traditional Batman Beyond thing that this is similar. But good. Good. For the spoiler that was in the trailer, maybe, probably. Hey. Hey. I love myself. I'm very excited to see next week. I also want to see Old Barry. Are we ever going to get an Old Barry? Young Barry? We still be baby. Before the show started, uh, the, the showrunner, Phil Klemmer, said that we would meet older or younger Barry and Oliver this season. So Oliver's it's probably older. a younger Barry. We've I seen younger that, Barry, though. No, uh, yeah. I hope I hope Barry's dead. Asking for a friend. In, in mm. 2046. Oh, do you? <laughs> yeah, Maybe no, he I hopes hope you're because, dead. No, <laughs> <laughs> no because, because of the on crisis on Finner Earth. Earth <laughs> I, th- I think one of the most profound things Barry, did, they've done a lot to... His sacrifice. Most of the things you yeah. like about Barry Allen, new fans, are from when he came back. Barry was kind of planned in those Silver Age comics. The best thing he did was die to save the multiverse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was basically superhero Jesus. He uh, is the He died own, for everybody else. Yeah, and he's I, the first hero to die. Die, die. I would he love there to be a, a statue memorializing Barry Allen's Flash. It was hinted at in uh, the paper when Harrison Wells from, from the oh, future. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the future, yeah. Oh, it's 2046. That doesn't mean are the Barry from the show. That gives him 40 years to die. It's not like it's going to ruin the show. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> He had, a, he had a long life. He had a long, he had a run. He lived uh, well. Jet he had a run. Said, yeah. or Jatsuyo says, Deathstroke, Death you guys. Oh, if you haven't seen the trailer, that's like, uh, Oh, that's a spoiler. <laughs> One, two, uh, three, spoiler. 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 In the trailer. Spoiler. Uh, it looks like they're all surprised to see Deathstroke running around killing people. Obviously not Slade. Of course yeah, it's not. Of course yeah, of course he's not Slade. Somebody yeah. taking up the... He's but got it's cool a silver back. mask. It's cool to see Deathstroke back. Yeah, yeah. it is. And yeah. uh, what did you... Did you so see how they killed Vandal? <laughs> They put a oh, grenade in the fuck up. Yeah, they blew him. Oh, yeah. he's not dead. Oh, well, he's not. I was just for shits and giggles. But I was, yeah. I was worried it was going to be another one of those, like, why didn't you take, like, why didn't, why didn't you, you kill him? Why didn't you? I was oh, the yeah. And then he blew him up. I'm like, oh, thank you. Thank yeah. He's like, quick, I, you know, halted last time, and this is all I want to do, so I'll let you talk yeah. while I have a gun to your head. Like, but you said you made a good point. It's only one particular woman that can kill him properly. Only Hawk Girl so he's just going to make him hurt. you grabbed him two episodes back and threw him into the sun, assuming the Wave Rider could have gotten you close enough to the sun, throw him sure. in the sun. Sure. It doesn't matter how many times he resurrects. He's still in the sun. <laughs> he's in the sun. Or in space. Just throw him in space. Have you guys seen gravity? It's terrifying. Battle <laughs> in space. It's fucking terrifying. Battle in space. <laughs> 
You guys want to talk about Caitlin Porter brought up at Smoke Show, the mom joke that Ray made? Uh, oh, that was really life? good. Ray got some good one-liners when he was getting tortured. Yeah. He got quite the mouth on you. So does your mom. Yeah. Good job, Ray. Sassy. Ray. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Working with supervillains <laughs> is yeah. rubbing off mm-hmm. on I him. Hope, I hope they keep developing the Mick-Ray relationship. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, like, I like Ray and Cold a lot. Yeah. yeah. And Ray and Mick Well, I think been because good. everyone is kind of paired off in one way or another, mm-hmm. and they're kind of really, like, now that they've paired off Sarah with Kendra, it's like, what are they going to do with Ray? He's like, well, he's a smart guy, but Stein's already taken. Yeah. What are we going to do with well, so him? What are they going to do with so now Jax? It's a it, I, there was a little bit like when J- Jax and Kendra got stuck with uh, uh, Rip. And they're like, oh, we feel like the JV squad. And it's like, you guys kind of are. Yeah. You are. Yeah, yeah, but like they it's still those, prove they, themselves. Because they've been around the least. What's we know the them the least. Squad? Junior uh, varsity. Like they're lower oh. than the mm-hmm. rest of them. Oh, I know. Like yeah, because those ones have been around more. I <laughs> I'm feel like so Australian. Those characters could. I'm, I'm looking forward to giving those characters more, especially Kendra. Man, I feel like Kendra could do a lot more. She needs a good plot. Well, she line. had. I mean, this whole thing is her storyline. Like, this is all about her and the the soulmate. Supposedly. But he's gone, and now they don't really know. It's like, hey, so yeah. hold that thought, because yeah. we're going to focus on everyone else until you get Connor back. Is it Connor? No, uh, no, yeah. K- uh, Curtis, Kurt, uh, Cray, Kramer. Yeah, that shit. Yeah, you've, Short circuit of my dude. brain, and now I can't the remember. The dude, Carson. Carter Hall. Carter Hall. Carter Carter Hall. Hall. Oh, Carson, someone Carter in the comments that go. someone was calling out. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Carter. Yes, Carter. Oh, Hall. Carter, never right. met her. Anybody well, else? One last thought. Uh, a super fun episode. What would you guys rate it real eight quick? 8.5. I, I give it an 8.5. Yeah. I would give it between an 8 and 8.5, like an 8.3. I'm eight. just going to give it an 8.5. <laughs> like I'm not sure, but I said yeah. it. Mm-hmm. I give it a seven point five to an eight. Yeah, closer to, closer to eight probably because yeah. I did enjoy it. Yeah, I I'll really call liked, it. I'll I, call it an eight too. I like Legends of Tomorrow a lot. Yes, mm-hmm. uh, DJ, you want to do a poll list real quick? I do quick? want to. Oh, you do want to do a poll list? I do. Everyone, get your pen and paper out, please. This is what you're supposed. You guys keep Write tweeting these me these down. Comics. These are what comics should I pick up? These. These right. ones. Yeah. These. Uh, next week, you should check out <laughs> Justice League 49. It's continuing the Dark Side War. Yes. Um, also, We Are Robin number nine, which is continuing the arc with the Jokers. By the way, We Are Robin, Black Canary, not coming back with the new Rebirth reboot. And That's fun, trash. Yeah, they're they're fun, different types of books, and I'm kind of bummed about that. It right? is I'm trash. sorry you're upset. There goes my pants. <laughs> Over in the indie world, Four Eyes is back, everybody. Yay! Joe Kelly's Four Eyes book. If you don't know, it's about a kid in the depression training dragons for pit fighting. It's amazing. You should go read it. That's yeah. number so two. cool. It is. Go pick up volume one. Um... Uh, there's a version with color and without color. I recommend the one with color, even though the creators don't prefer it. I'm sorry, creators. I love your work. Um, mm-hmm. uh, so Four Eyes, Hearts of Fire number two comes out next week. Saga number, I didn't write down the number, 39, I think. Okay. A new saga comes no, out. A new, <laughs> saga, a new saga comes out next week. You will probably be able to see the number on the cover in the asset that we have up unless it doesn't have the number. Cool. On it. Yeah. Uh, but Saga's amazing. Check it out. Uh, DJ's pull-out list on next week's episode. So, don't yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Also, if you're into Daredevil, we've got the new Daredevil trailer. Uh, the next Daredevil comic comes out, Daredevil number four, mm-hmm. uh, continuing um, the arc that's going on there. I've been reading it. It's been good. I vouch for it. Also, if you're into Daredevil and you have not read Mark Wade's run, I went back and checked it out. It is amazing. Cool. It is so good. Uh, this issue of Daredevil. Is it better than Steven- Born Again? I always have that as kind of like the high water. I, I have not read Born Again, so I cannot oh. tell you. I'm okay. sorry. All I can tell you it is Amazing. Okay, cool. Um, he has a confrontation with Captain America that I would really love to see happen in real life. Hell yeah. In this in Daredevil number four, this issue that's coming out, Steve Rogers teams up with Daredevil also. So cool. Ooh. Continuity. And also, it was like five or six months ago that Karnak won by Warren Ellis came out, and now issue two is finally coming out. And it was really cool. Karnak is probably the most terrifying of the Inhumans because he sees the flaw in everything. Ooh. Um, so he's kind of an asshole. But he's cool. So Karnak number two comes out. Check it out. I recommend it. Hell cool. yeah. The pull list has been pulled. Yeah. Boom. Well, thank you all so much for joining us on another episode of Superhero Roundup. Join us live. It's so much fun to see you guys in the chat and to have you tweet at us. Uh, we are going live every single Friday at 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Sam, where can the people find you? You can find me on Twitter, at Sam Basher, Instagram, the same thing. Or you can just search on YouTube, find my name. I got a channel there, Sam Basher. I'm uploading a new episode of my show today, and you should go watch it, please. It's the Lost Christmas episode that I did not upload in December. (laughs) (laughs) It is lost because Sam lost it on his hard drive. Uh, 
It's it's a C plus episode, anyways. Let's go ahead. <laughs> That's a glowing Hi. endorsement. I'm at Maud Garrett on all social medias, and I just uploaded a new video on my channel, Geek Bomb, and Ooh. I interviewed Steve Zaragoza and talked hey. about what he's currently playing, watching, and reading. And did you know that only a month ago I was a barista? So this is a little bit. You know, alarming for me. I love that. Well, we I didn't get it this joke. episode. It's like yeah. the first episode first, in seven that we I haven't know. heard it. It makes so. me so happy. <laughs> DJ? I almost forgot. You can find me at DJ Talks Trash on Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. Yay. And you can uh, you can find me on Twitter at Matt Lieberman, M-A-T-T-L-I-E-B-E-R-M-A-N. Uh, a few things. I was just on TV Fights, and I won for the second time. Yay. I'm really happy about that. Um, and that's uh, over on the Screen Junkies channel. Uh, I actually got to go to DC All Access and do an episode of DC All Access, Yay. which is going to be on Monday um, and uh, I just put up a new video about The Walking Dead on my channel uh, this past Monday it's about how Rick should die on The Walking Dead uh, whether Sorry, you agree Rick. or disagree you should go watch it and uh, my podcast Walk and Talk where we talk about Christopher Walken the first episode we talk about the Adam Sandler classic Click Thank you all for joining us. Uh, yeah. Sam's going to come on. <laughs> Sam's going to come on at some point. And we're going to talk about Mouse Hunt. Mouse <laughs> Hunt is a cult classic. Yeah, I'm excited <laughs> about it. Hell yeah! yeah. Uh, thank you all for joining us. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.